over the world into palace and shed. Since it fulfilled what the scriptures read and the gospel that Jesus had said, and the message in this meal, which is sacred, is that Jesus took the punishment in our stead. We have from death, sin and shame been read, and therefore have nothing to dread, but instead can look to the present and things that lie ahead. The communion also contains and embed cries from climate change and from people unfed to share what creation provides since every head here on earth has the right to be fed. So open your hearts and let yourself be led as you receive communion and its symbols unsaid. Christians also shared in prayer, calling to the Father in heaven and declare his name being holy and that we prepare for his kingdom and will in earthly affairs be done as it is in the heavenly air. We ask for daily bread and care and forgiveness when we impair things and also try to forbear when others fail or seem unfair. We also pray for and beware of sin, evil and things that snare, hoping for a better tomorrow where God rules everything justly and fair. And with power, mend and repair things broken and invites us to share eternal life with God as heirs. Lights. Where do we find hope in the darkest of nights, liberating people from miseries and frights? How can we improve human rights and will we find peace on earth ending all fights? We might find help in Christian rights when we focus on what gathers and unites. In Bible readings, when someone recites its words in a way that explains and invites us to prayer, where we hear God's calling, which ignites willingness to serve and that which delights God and the myriad of angels in the heavenly heights. Teaching from the Bible, fellowship that unites, prayer and breaking of bread in communion rites, are four examples of Christian guiding lights that help us on the move here on earthly sites and as we move on, on our journey to the heavenly mites. Amen.